Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'll be speaking about the Bespoke AI event by Samsung which was done about two days ago in Mumbai. Uh, here they announced it and launched this and this is collection of consumer devices like refrigerator, uh, microwave ovens, washing machines, air conditioners etc. And these are now AI enabled that way they can actually talk to each other and they bring a lot of conveniences. So we'll have a look at that. I was at the event, I shot some stuff. I'll give you idea about uh, some of the appliances that they were there how they work and how this AI can help us but apart from that uh, luckily I had the opportunity and interview Mr. Dipesh from Samsung who's the head of R&D for Samsung and I feel uh, after that interaction I had with him I have a better understanding of this AI and what this AI will do for these connected appliances so uh, what I will do is I'll add that interview at the end of the video. Hi guys, this is Ranjit and as you can see, I'm in a very different location. This is actually, I'm in Mumbai. I was invited by Samsung and they have created this uh, new space. This is in BKC Mumbai, where they are showcasing uh, the latest AI innovations in appliances. For example, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, smart refrigerators. As you can see, this has a display over here. Even, uh, what do you say, uh, smart microwaves and even uh, this is a dishwasher also that is uh, AI enabled and I was also very curious what does this AI brings to these appliances. First let's have a look at this new refrigerator uh, which has this huge display and also it actually has an AI vision camera inside. Hence it knows what's inside the refrigerator for example if I open it up as you can see this is the AI vision camera and here it actually knows what's kept inside the refrigerator so that adds a little bit of intelligence and when you go back to the screen it's detected that we have all these things inside the fridge thanks to that AI vision camera and now we can actually search for recipes with that ingredient for example we had selected that paneer now it's actually uh, using AI to search for recipes now it has given me 208 results okay so all are okay yes and if we see we can click it okay so it's paneer tikka and then first to get all the ingredients mm. then step by step in instructions and then from right here you mm. send the recipe to the microwave now if you see on the microwave so it has actually sent the instructions to the microwave it has already set it for 15 minutes and how to cook that recipe you can control all these devices from the tablet or a smartphone also but as we will just use this fridge where you can see all the connected devices as you can see are over here and we can remotely actually uh, control other devices for example in this demo they are, are just showing us that we can control the uh, what do you say washing machine and we can select the wash cycle etc and if we just press start uh, the washing machine will start so it had sent the command to the washing machine and now it's actually washing in fact the washing machine is intelligent samsung claims that it knows what type of clothes you have put on it so it can detect how uh, how much soil they are so it can uh, adapt and uh, how much water to use how much detergent to use it has that intelligence this is the samsung's wind free smart air conditioner and with this one they have ai cool and can you can also remotely start it it will automatically detect let's say if you are near a house and start and cool the house you can also control all the devices on your smartphones using the smart things app this is the samsung winfrey ac and as you can see you can control the temperature you can actually uh, change the mode and basically when you set it to auto mode this is actually the ai mode now it's analyzing the temperature and other parameters and based on that you get the power efficiency at the best cooling you can also change the wind direction etc directly from here so you can control the entire ac from this app all these smart devices also have something known as AI energy uh, which actually helps you in saving power and here they were giving a demo of this AI energy. I use the technology of AI to predict the amount that I'm going to save next month. In fact, I have an option of using this AI energy mode. It will give me a saving amount. It will give me the estimated cost and last month's cost as well. Okay. In fact, we'll take it a little bit further. I have precise control. It will show me how many devices are actually using AI energy mode. You can set a monthly target. Now okay. I have set a target of 2000 rupees. 
so far this month i so i have saved about 122 rupees and we are at what this is second today hmm. i think i'll reach my goal but if you want to take it a little further we can go to home care the most important part of having electronics right after sales services since we are talking about ai what if i tell you that the ai in our machines analyze the okay. machines themselves now we have a twist rather than giving you reactive suggestions meaning agar kharab hoga hmm. only then you'll get a suggestion right what if i huh. tell you it prevents that okay it gives you an indication proactively before it happens okay allows you to take steps before it happens okay, okay. So hi guys, I have the privilege of uh, meeting with Mr. Dipesh, who is the head of R and D for Samsung India. A great pleasure, sir. And I nice. was just at the event, and uh, I saw a lot of AI stuff in the consumer space. But I have some questions for uh, for you. Let's just start with some of the ca casual questions that I have noticed. Uh, there, I noticed that it's basically using uh, smart things for integration. So first question that I have. If a user wants to enable all those AI features, do we need something special, uh, hardware device or something, or a router or a special device to make it enable, or it's just a standalone? It gets enabled. This whole range of bespoke AI devices, they are all. Each of the device is self-connected by its own Wi-Fi okay. to the Samsung SmartThings platform. So, we so that's the bespoke AI concept. Actually, each device has its own AI. And all of these are connecting to the central smart things okay. through its own Wi-Fi. Okay. And bespoke AI there can provide you AI across multiple connected devices. Okay. So we don't need a gateway hub or anything <coughs> like that. You don't need a gateway hub. Okay. Great. So that's nice. Uh, okay. One question that I have because it's again a connected device. We have already also seen some older connected devices like fridges, etc. What about that? Will those also get some of these features with updates or no? So there is a first time we are bringing smart forward OS okay. upgrade in DA appliance devices. Okay. So the devices that has required hardware capability and a Tizen OS that's about 2018 or 19 and beyond okay. may get an OS upgrade. But those that does not have the hardware capability, it's not possible to upgrade. Makes sense. Even if it's a 2018, <coughs> that's quite a bit of uh, older devices might get upgraded. That's nice to hear. Okay, uh, now I have a general question about AI because you are into the space, you are doing a lot of R&D. Uh, we are hearing a lot about AI, but from a consumer's point of view, what do you think about this AI? Uh, what's the thought about it you, from you and the company? AI is, for Samsung, AI is like improving daily life of consumer. If okay. you look at your daily from morning to the night, throughout your stay at home, while you're at office, while you're commuting, throughout your journey during the day, where all AI can come intervene and improve your life. That's our bespoke AI concept. Okay. So if you look at washing machine, refrigerator, air conditioner, each one of them are trying to understand you as a user and the devices are trying to adapt to okay. your needs rather than you trying to learn how okay. devices need to work so that means uh, let's say i'm uh, let's uh, take an example of uh, what do you say washing machine so do you say uh, like after using it for a while let's say for 15 20 <coughs> days it will learn my habits and then uh, make my life easier something like that in washing machine itself in bespoke AI, there are many concepts so definitely like you said it looks at your pattern every day let's say washing machine is not used just by the owner yeah sometimes obviously. the house help sometimes seniors at home they mm -hmm. want to use the washing machine so depending on the type of cycles you have used every day it understands okay. the pattern and it changes the ui itself in sequence so that okay. when the house help is trying to use it she doesn't need to go to all the controls one click and she should be able to use it that's okay. ai control okay ai wash is it doesn't matter what kind of cloths you are putting into the washing machine. The washing machine will understand, okay. is this cotton, is this chiffon, is it silk? Okay. And it will automatically adjust the spin cycles and the detergent that it needs, etc. So these two are user. So this should also help uh, <coughs> reduce the water intake also, I think so, in a washing machine? Definitely it, it does. You know, okay. The AI eco bubble technology okay. is all about that. Like it understands how much soil is there, okay. what is the thickness of the cloth, so how much detergent and how much water do I really need to use. Okay. That's all understood by on device, you know, machine learning 
and the AI eco bubble technology helps to uh, save water as well. Okay. One more thing I was hearing a lot uh, uh, at the event that is something known as AI energy and I'm also very conscious about energy because I'm into solar, I have off grid. So what is this AI energy and uh, is it practical, useful? I want to hear a little bit more about it. So there are two aspects of AI energy. One is about caring for the environment, the okay. sustainability part of it, which is very, very important. Samsung as a brand, we are pitching very high on terms of sustainability. We as a company, we are doing whatever we need to do for sustainability. In addition, now with Bespoke AI, we are making even the consumers aware okay. as to when you are using these products, how much of carbon emissions are really getting generated because okay. of your use of these devices. And then we provide you a way to manage it. Okay. and reduce the energy consumption so that you not only samsung all the consumers of samsung devices together we can do something for the environment that's one part of the energy ai energy the other part of the ai energy is now earlier also we have ai energy in refrigerator alone washing mm -hmm. machine alone or air conditioner alone now with this smart things bespoke ai connected platform with one ai energy mode button you can actually monitor your entire smart home device consumption. Okay. Not just monitor, you can set target. Okay, I don't want to spend more than let's say 2000 rupees uh, okay. on electricity bill. Okay. So in Indian rupees, it will show you okay. how much your energy consumption based on your last 31 days pattern. It will tell you in this month how much can be your electricity bill. Okay. And if you have set a target, we will automatically adjust okay. the AI energy modes of your devices so that within your comfort, okay. we can manage your electricity tariff as well. Okay. That's AI energy mode for electricity tariff. So I think so. The, uh, this can also work in uh, air conditioners are a big hog of electricity. So as uh, I have seen, uh, even ACs are having this uh, AI uh, enabled uh, technology. So can you give an uh, example where uh, it's this AI energy is used uh, uh, to save electricity from a consumer's point of view. If then I enable that feature, of if course. you enable that feature, there are two three features there. One mm -hmm. is called AI Auto Cool. Okay. So as soon as you said Auto Cool, mm -hmm. it understands the temperature inside. Okay. Because it's a connected device, it knows the temperature outside. Outside, okay. okay. That's Got the it. key difference. Ah, it okay. knows the temperature outside. It knows the difference. It knows the humidity. Okay. And so it will adjust all the compressor frequencies based on multiple parameters and it will do the comfort that you need at the least energy that is uh, needed to get that comfort not overdo it or underdo it do it okay. at the right uh, level for you. okay so like it actually saves energy it does it does because one is of course because of the five star energy rating and all whatever okay. energy you save in addition uh, depending on the external see typical indian consumer when when they come home from a hot sun outside they start at a very high uh, yeah, cool yeah. mode. That max cool or whatever. Yeah, max just, cool uh, mode. Then again, they go for a dehumidification. Then again, they go for normal. So this is not efficient actually. So okay. AI auto cool adjusts accordingly and then clearly gets into wind free mode okay. through multiple phases by itself. If user is not doing it at the right time, it may consume more energy. Okay. So machine is doing it by itself. Also, depending on number of people sitting in your living room, oh, okay. it will also adjust the temperature accordingly. So, it can detect uh, how many people are there? It can understand based on the Wi-Fi energy oh. that there are more people sitting in the room. So, it will uh, adjust the auto cooling accordingly. This is very interesting. This I didn't expect. <laughs> so, uh, you mean, let's say uh, people just switch on AC. Sometimes they just go outside the room for half an hour, whatever. So, it will know that person. It will know that nobody is in the room and it would uh, oh. adjust the compressor temperature accordingly. I think this is a very good actual feature that actually works. This is pretty interesting, sir. And uh, uh, apart from that, uh, uh, where do you think this AI future is going to take us uh, in terms of these consumer durable? Because people are buying a lot of stuff. So where do you think from a point of view, thought of you, where is this going to go? See, the future is always connected now. All devices will talk to each other. All devices are connected and they are talking to each other and they are optimizing among themselves to satisfy your you know, daily life sequence. So that's okay. the bespoke AI. Primarily three pillars, energy that you talked mm -hmm. about, definitely very, very important. The two other pillars, one is convenience, so other is care. Okay. So that's what we, we say, do less, live more. 
Uh, yes, they were talking about it auto diagnosis. If any issue is there, it will notify you. So of. when we talk about care, it's <laughs> there are two kinds. One is device care. Mm -hmm. So currently, you know, the home appliances typically you are not monitoring all the time. No. But as soon as your air condition stops working or the day your ref, ref is not working, that's when you frantically you know start calling call yes. center and other places. But here, the Bespoke AI platform is continuously monitoring all your sensors, filters, refrigerant okay. and it is continuously monitoring and proactive diagnosis and it will give you a nudge. Okay. If a filter needs to be changed, it will give you a nudge. Okay. And so the company knows you know, what kind of state your device is in and it will do proactive service for you. That's the device care part mm -hmm. of it. Okay. The other care part of it is the family care. So okay. we have pet care, elderly care. Okay. So for example, let's say your mom is living you know, away from you okay. and you want to make sure that after let's say her cataract operation or something, she needs to put those you know, drops periodically. So you want to monitor that. Hmm. So every time she opens and closes the refrigerator to pick up the okay. eye drop, you will get to no notification that she's periodically actually following the regime that you have set. So that way you can stay a peace of mind. This is the daily life use case of AI. Oh, actually. I didn't expect that. Yeah. So this <laughs> so, is the care part, actually. So even as you're telling uh, proactive diagnosis, <coughs> for example, in ACs, I know that many people forget to clean basic filters Absolutely. and that consumes over 20-25% more power. More energy, yes. So yes. do you say these new air conditioners that are like uh, AI enabled will notify user, okay, your filter is... Uh, dirty or whatever yes it does notify you you can uh, check you can also set the frequency of notifications if you want okay. or you can only set that let me know only if things are uh, okay going in, something not is. in good condition okay that's very interesting so uh, thank you mr dipesh for giving us some insights i also didn't expect some of the things that are going in the background regarding ai and i think so we are in this uh, start of this ai revolution now and do you think sir in future a lot more devices will adopt this AI thing. Future is bespoke AI, connected multi-device experience, generative AI will come okay. so you can naturally you know talk to your devices. Okay. AI is the mainstream and mm -hmm. Samsung will lead the future digital lifestyle. Okay, so guys, that's uh, it for now for this video. You have heard from Mr. The Page itself, uh, giving us, explaining us a little bit more about the behind the scenes of this AI bespoke initiative that they have started. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you, sir. My pleasure.